Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Let's ceramic coat some buttons. So the buttons that I'm going to ceramic coat today is these steering wheel control sides. Uh, what I noticed, and I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this one right here, because this is the sort of fast forward or next song button, uh, the upper one, and I seem to use that a lot more than any of the other ones apart from the thumb wheels, uh, sort of volume up and down, and of course the temperature control on this side. But I don't really use these two except my voice control, this one, uh, but this bottom one and this bottom one uh, I, I usually never, never touch. But what I notice is that the oils from my fingers are beginning to make this shiny, whereas, you know, here that I don't use at all, it's, it's dull. So the first thing I want to do is start cleaning these parts up. And what I'm going to use to clean that is some, of course, uh, the uh, iposuprilula, that stuff, uh, some rubbing alcohol, basically. So let's get that started. So I've dipped a Q-tip in the rubbing alcohol, and I'm just going to give this area a clean. And hopefully this will take off the uh, all the finger oils that are on it. Look at that color of that Q-tip. My goodness, well I may as well do the whole, whole area now that you got me all freaked out. So I'm going to do that side, and then I'm going to move over to this side. Give this these control areas a a rub down. I'm not going to do this top part, but it's doing such a good job cleaning. Look at that! Look color of that schmutz that's on there. I don't know if you can. There you go. My goodness, dirty fingers. So I don't I didn't do this outer side here. Now I'm going to use the clean end and apply more because I want it super clean. That was disgusting. Okay. You are going to wait and dry there. And let's go to the other side. That's pretty gross. Don't do this at home if you have a weak stomach. All right, so I am going to use a dry one just to help up the, the process. So there, it looks like it's uh, drying nicely. Uh, the ceramic coating that I'm using is uh, Armor Shield by Avalon King. Uh, this was on sale 50% off $50 so that's not bad so in another video you'll see that I do in the front half of my car uh, using this and uh, I'm gonna use this now so I applied a drop of uh, the ceramic coating on the uh, cloth that comes with it so I'm just going to you're not going to be able to see. So I'm just going to wipe this product. On and around the area, I think. Okay. 
can't really tell there, but let's go here. So a little goes a long way with this ceramic coating. So all we want to do is we're going to put a small amount on. It's going to dry to a, um, a sort of haze. And that could take anywhere from one, well, they say two, two to five minutes. So I'm just making sure it's evenly applied. See, I got some here on the steering wheel. With an even coat. Nice. You're getting a great shot of the back of my hand. My apologies. Let's get it as even as possible. So now, let's wait uh, three to five minutes for this to dry. So there you go, it's been about uh, five minutes. Now in that kit from Avalon King, they do have a microfiber uh, cloth that's used to buff out after the five minute wait. So let's uh, give this a try. So all you're trying to do is just take the a little bit of the shine off. Oh, just turned on the air conditioning. Let's do the nasty side. There you go. As good as new, yet protected. Better than new. So there you go. That's how you can uh, ceramic coat your buttons in your car. Cheers. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell. Cheers.